Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome to my channel. It is Connor here and I am back for two brand new candle reviews today. We are starting off with Yankee Candles Peppermint Pinwheels. So before I get into the review, um, I just want to talk a little bit about the Yankee Candle deal. So right now they are doing $20 off of $50 or $50 off of $100 plus. Dollars. So some pretty good deals if you want to get about half off. Um, that's going to definitely be something that you're going to want to use. Um, and then also, just to let you guys know, my store that I work at, um, I don't know if it's just my store that's doing this, um, but I think it's nationwide online and in store. Um, candle Day. So last weekend they did Candle Day and um, it was 12, I think it was either 12.95 or 12. I think it was just $12 large jar original candles. So the one wick paraffins. So that same deal is going to happen again this weekend at my Yankee. So it's the lowest price of the season to get the large jars. So if you are a fan of purchasing those, then this weekend is definitely going to be the be the time that you're going to want to grab those. So if you have a store near you, don't go definitely check out uh, your store. Or if you don't, of course, make your online order. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into peppermint pinwheels. So if you remember back and you're a fan of Yankee, Yankee Candle had a, uh, they had two main peppermint scents. They've had a few that have come and go, that have come and gone, like the Alpine Mint one came a few years ago. That one left. Uh, that one was really good. They've just had like different pepper ones come and go, but two, well, really only one that has stayed the entire time and for a while, and I think probably was one of their best sellers, was Candy Cane Lane, which this year, for some reason, they discontinued Candy Cane Lane. I think that they kind of started phasing it out last holiday season because they had introduced the signature collection in 2021. I believe it was the springtime. And then they never put Candy Cane Lane in the um, new signature collection and they weren't really upgrading it or anything so um, my guess is last year they just had whatever that less rest of what they would poured and then now it is all sold out so unfortunately you can't get candy cane lane and I know that was a favorite for many including me so I was really upset when that happened but Yankee did come out with a new peppermint scent this year which is peppermint pinwheels and I know a lot of you are upset because Candy Cane Lane is gone, but I'll be honest, I like Peppermint Pinwheels, and I might even like it more than Candy Cane Lane. Like, I really like this scent a lot, and I think it's my favorite, a part of the new collection. I really like the Winter Night Stars, too. Um, that one's really nice. I actually have a large jar of that, which is right over there, and I will get into that review hopefully in the next few weeks, but... I was really upset that Candy Cane Lane is gone, but I actually like peppermint pinwheels a lot. And I know that there are a lot of people that are kind of spectacle, but I definitely think that you should try the scent out. I prefer the signature original, or sorry, the signature jar. This, the original is the paraffin one wick, but I really like these. They have the nice, crisp, clean label, and um, I love the soy formula. They're much cleaner. I do get sodiness on them sometimes. But this one's doing well. I'm going to talk about the performance in a second. Um, yes, they burn a lot quicker than the paraffin ones do. But they still have a pretty good like burn hour. I would say that this probably lasts me about 80 hours. Which I feel like is uh, it's definitely more than a Bath & Body Works. Um, probably on par with like a Kringle 2 Wick Soy. Um, I actually have one over here to show you guys for example. Um, this one is actually going to start getting burned later this week, but, uh, peppermint cocoa, this is the two wick large soy. So I would say these are about the same for the burn time. This one actually might be a little bit longer, but, um, pretty on par with each other. But anyways, now that we've got that chitter chatter out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the notes for peppermint pinwheels. So, the description said the scent of homemade peppermint pinwheel cookies made sweeter when, when shared with friends and family. 
The notes are top notes of sparkling peppermint, melted butter, and sea salt. Your mid notes are kettle corn, crushed candy cane, and winter mint. And then the base notes are whipped vanilla, dark chocolate, and frosted spearmint. This is a really delicious scent. Um, and I'll be honest, I had to research what a peppermint pinwheel was. Um, I had heard of it, but I didn't exactly know what cookie it is. So if you are confused as well about what they are. So there are these little cookies. I'll show you guys um, right here. Sorry, not to make you sick. Um, oops, sorry. Okay, so that is a peppermint pinwheel right there. So it looks like this, um, you know, they got these. It's just like those little like cookies. I've actually never had one, I don't think, but I've seen them before. They're just like those little swirl cookies that have peppermint in them and it's like a red and white swirl. So that's what they are. But um, um, this one definitely, the scent really does smell like a peppermint sugar cookie. So just ignore pinwheels if that confuses you. This smells like a really nice peppermint sugar cookie. Now you guys know peppermint sugar cookie is one of my favorites from Bath and Body Works. It's a really nice, just like sugar cookie with a nice peppermint smell to it. This is really similar to it in a way, but it has a few different different or different differences to it. Um, so I think this one does have like a cocoa chocolate element to it. It's a very light cocoa, definitely not as strong and like in there as much as the peppermint cocoa from Kringle is. It's like very light on that cocoa, but I do pick up a little bit of it. Um, I do think that this one has a really nice buttery, like salty smell to it. I think I actually pick up some of that kettle corn too. And I think it's just that light, that nice like buttery saltiness, but it works really well with the peppermint. Um, but yeah, I just really like this scent. I think it's a really nice gourmand scent and I am just very, very happy with it. So um, only, only good thoughts and experience with me from the scent. So as far as the performance goes, like I said, I am burning this one in the large signature jar. So the large signature jar is just my preferred um candle to buy from Yankee. I like the label on this one. It's not like, you know, the tumbler where it's like scattered around. This is just a very like nice label. I actually have grown to love these labels. I hated the labels at first and wanted like the picture label, but I actually prefer these now and I like the look of the jar too. Like I really just like this all together. So don't, I not only just love the look of it, I also love the performance that comes with these. So as you can see, this is a very clean burn. I really don't have any soot at all on the sides. There's a little bit of residue from the wax, but that's pretty typical with any candle. This is just doing very good. Honestly, like no discoloration from this at all. They use a really nice blend in these and I like how the wicks are not like huge. Like I'm barely cutting the wicks on these just because I don't want them to become puny. They're not puny, but they're just like the perfect size where they're not too big to the point where they're sitting, but then they're also not drowning in the wax. And I'll be honest, I've been burning this for like four or five hours now, which is very long and I don't suggest burning that. I'm actually gonna blow this out uh, in a second because I'm about to go up for bed. It's actually Wednesday night, but I am working early tomorrow morning, so I need to film this so it can be up for tomorrow. But, um. I'm just very impressed with the burn quality and performance with this one. Um, as far as the strength and the throw go, I would give this one strength of, mm, I would give the strength a six and a half and I would give the throw a six. Um, I had this burning in my kitchen, but I'm filming this in the dining room because it's just easier to film in the dining room. Um, but... This has been throwing really well. It's a really nice like kitchen bakery scent. And honestly, it, you walk into the kitchen and it does smell like I'm baking a peppermint sugar cookie with that nice like sea salt. It's just a very nice kitchen scent. And I feel like it's really filling up that room pretty well. So I'm gonna actually give this like a six and a half to a seven for the throw. It's just doing really well. And it's definitely stronger than what I would get from 
a paraffin one wick from Yankee, those original jars, they barely throw at all. These have much better strength and throw and a much better clean quality performance. So yeah, that is my thoughts on peppermint pinwheels and some information on the signature collection and whole and the performance of it all. Um, I know I rave a lot about these signature candles and I definitely hope that you guys will try these out. I know a lot of people have kind of stopped purchasing from Yankee and there's not too many out there that still do, but I still love the brand and I work there and I get to smell the product every day and I love that I get to try different scents out from them and I really do suggest trying out the signature collection. It is so much better and different in my opinion compared to the original jars. So definitely try them out, give them a chance, give them a fair chance and um, I really hope you guys enjoy them. But anyways, if you've tried this scent and um, you've enjoyed it, let me know down below in the description box and let me know how the performance was for you. Make sure to turn on that notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload. Subscribe if you're new here. I really would appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back for one more candle review later today. We have got a country candle from Kringle. So I will see you guys then. Bye.